I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's WMD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion, that's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here at episode 200, isn't that crazy, 200 of our Pokemon Mr. Dungeon DX Let's Play, and guys, if you missed last episode, we recruited Deoxys from Meteor Cave, very exciting, and then we talked to Team Meanie, minus Gengar, because Gengar is missing, so, eventually, I think we'll get a mission for that. Hopefully, that opens up the other few uh, dungeons we're missing with, uh, you know, some legend, or not legend, some shiny Pokemon that we have to recruit. But, speaking of shinies, today we're going to be chasing after a shiny Pokemon. I'm not sure who we're going for just yet, if I'm being completely honest, but, uh... I don't remember if last episode I mentioned at the end of the episode if I was going to do a specific one or not. If I did, well, I may have lied because we might be picking something else. <laughs> And you know, the easiest way to do this is I can look and see the videos that I recorded recently. So we just got Shiny Ninetales. Oh yeah, but I deleted all those all those other ones because they already published everything. So we have Mount Steel. We have Shiny Rapidash. Let's, you know, I think that's the one we actually were going to go for, actually. If I remember right, I have no idea. Let's just go with Mount Steel because it's got the bonus chests and money. Obviously, our next... Uh, Benchmark is another shiny. Once we get another shiny, one of two things will happen. Either A, depending on if a mission uh, you know opens up for uh, Gengar or whatever. So we'll either do that mission for Gengar. That's top priority. But if that doesn't open up before we get a shiny Pokemon, we will do uh, Kecleon. So what I'll do is next time we see a Kecleon shop or shiny hunting, we will steal something from the Kecleon shop and recruit Ke uh, Kecleon. So that'll be very exciting. Then obviously eventually we're going to be going into uh, Wish Cave, trying to finish that and get Jirachi. Then of course we have Purity Forest, which I'm very nervous about and as we chase after uh, Celebi. I'm also kind of nervous too because like, I don't think we're going to be able to finish this game before uh, Pokemon Snap comes out. Because Pokemon Snap comes out in like 13 days. So realistically with this video included... Because it'll be 12 days tomorrow. This is when that's that's when this video is going up for me. Uh, that's what. Oop, that was almost a mistake. That's like what? Six episodes. So yeah, there's no way unless we get like super lucky. Oh, there's no way because we, we still we still have several shinies to get. Yeah, there's no way. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is when the game comes out, I'm probably going to record and just complete the game in like a few recording sessions and then once I'm done with this I'll start uploading that I think that's the plan because I'm very excited to play and I'd like to avoid any spoilers if possible because you know me I'm a weirdo like that and I, I, I can't imagine be too many like crazy spoilers in Pokemon Snap but you never know so I'd like to play through without seeing like spoilers like I've only seen like the initial trailer that we did the reactions to I haven't watched any additional trailers or anything like that. I haven't seen any pictures. I only know a handful, like, off the top of my head. I know that the tra the original trailer showed several different Pokemon. But off the top of my head, I can only really name a few. I remember Meganium. Because I think Meganium might even be on the cover of the game, if I remember right. Um, obviously, Pikachu. I'm having a hard time remembering anybody else. I know, uh... Was, uh... Oh... Who else was on there? For some reason, I'm thinking Jigglypuff was in the trailer. I don't remember if Jigglypuff was or not. We don't need Swine Up, by the way. So we're just kind of hanging out today, guys. Um, we're going to be doing several runs through this dungeon, I guess. Let's see what happens. You know the drill. We'll go to about 30 minutes and we'll hang it up. trying to think. Who else? Who else did I remember seeing in that trailer? Like, Meganium's like the one that really comes to mind. I can't think of any specific Pokemon, but I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of the starter Pokemon. Um, obviously. 
Uh, legendary wise, who was all in uh, the original Pokemon stuff? It was just the birds and Mew, right? Because Mewtwo was a uh, what do they call those? It was like like a like a drawing, like artwork or something like that. Like a landmark, maybe? Is that what they call them in that game? Because you would have, like, uh... Mewtwo was one. I remember Kabutops, I think, being one. But yeah, I'm very excited for Pokemon Snap. Very excited. Probably more so than I should be, because it's Pokemon Snap. But, dude, you gotta understand that. I've been waiting since, what? Pokemon Snap came out in, what, like, 99? 2000, maybe? Let me see. Pokemon Snap. Came out in 99. Okay. March 21st of 1999. Because I actually remember getting Pokemon Snap. Um, my brother had went to the hospital. My younger brother. Oh, looks like we're going to trigger something over there. We'll definitely hit that up. Um, so my younger brother has some sort of uh, breathing issue. They call it the, the crep. He couldn't breathe when he was sleeping. It was very scary, actually. Um, but he ended up going to the hospital. My mom obviously stayed with him overnight. I was with a babysitter. Uh, we kept visiting him. He was very young. I want to say he was... Well, obviously, if it was 99, he would have been three years old. Because he's six years younger than I am. And, uh... Whenever, like... Like, any of us would, like, go to the hospital or anything like that. Which, luckily, knock on wood, never really happened to me, except for after my car accident. Um, I mean, I've been to the, you know, doctor's appointments and the shots and stuff, but nothing, like, really serious. So, whenever that would happen, she would, like, get us, like, a gift, you know. He got something, you know, my other brother got something, and then I got Pokemon Snap. And I remember at first being kind of disappointed, because I didn't know, I, I didn't really know what Pokemon Snap was. I mean, it makes sense when you think about it. If, like, if, if I used half a brain cell, I would figure out that it's like a, a game where you take pictures of Pokemon. But for some reason, I just I never put two and two together. I just I saw a Pokemon game and I wanted it, right? I remember being disappointed at first, but then really enjoying it as I played it. Um, I did not read a damn thing they freaking said, by the way. I apologize. Can I retalk to him? Mouth freeze. Mount Freeze is where we uh, battled um, Articuno, right? Interesting. Mount Freeze is also... Uh, is that Licky Licky? Where's Mount Freeze at? I just want to see. Yeah. I don't want to do that right now. We don't, we don't need Shiny Licky Licky either. If we needed Shiny Licky Licky, I would. We're going to save that, but I'm going to try to remember to go to Mount Freeze. We can just talk to them whenever, though, so it's, it's fine. It's fine. But anyways, very excited for Pokemon Snap. It's been over 20 years since it came out. It's really incredible to think about that. And I have played through Pokemon Snap, the uh, N64 game, on the channel. Once upon a time, we 100%ed it. I mean, obviously, it doesn't take long to 100% it. If you guys are interested, it's uh, one of my older videos. Back when I did, like, Throwback Thursday, I think. Where I was really silly and was trying to uh, not only play, but complete an entire, uh, like, retro game in one, like, one sitting and, like, upload them all on the same day. It was very silly of me. Let me see real quick. I'm curious to know when I did Pokemon Snap. Yeah, they don't even have thumbnails. This is back in 2016. <laughs> it's in two parts, and it is Throwback Thursday. <laughs> Those are pre-thumbnail days. That's that's when you know. I mean, they have thumbnails, but I didn't, like, make any thumbnails, right? <laughs> Man, 2016. <clears throat> and then after that, like, my computer messed up around that time period. So I had to get a new computer, and I kind of stopped recording for a while. But then, like, 2017 is when I really got serious about it. 
And now we're here today playing Mr. Dungeon DX, where we are trying to complete the Masters. In fact, I haven't even mentioned this. I don't even have it up. Whoops. As you can see there at the top left there now, <laughs> there were 430 out of 472 in our Pokedex. We're missing just 42 Pokemon, guys. Um, but also that includes every single individual Pokemon in the Pokedex, including all 28 unknown, which we have. We have them all done. And all 27 Shinies, which we have, I believe, 19? No. Let me look. I always forget the number. We do have 19. 19 at 27. So we're only missing 8 Shinies. Um, but, again, there's a few dungeons we can't go to yet. I think 3 of them, to be exact. So there's 3 Shinies we can't even hunt for yet. Um, Shiny Magikarp, Shiny Altaria, and Shiny Hutoot. But after we finish this uh, mission for like rescuing Gengar or whatever we're gonna do, I believe, I'm assuming, I don't actually even know, I'm assuming it's gonna open up those other dungeons. If not, I guess I'll just try to figure out what I gotta do for that if it's like a password or something. We got a regular Rapidash, so our first Rapidash encounter, of course, Shiny Rapidash, instead of uh, like orange and yellow fire, it's like a dark blue, almost gray looking. Well, at least we've seen one today though. Obviously, we want to see at least a few more. We're only 11 minutes deep, so we could certainly do... I don't know, probably like three more runs or so, give or take. Maybe four, we'll see. But yeah, right now we can only hunt for uh, Shiny uh, Rapidash, Shiny Metagross, Shiny... I want to do this without looking at the list. Dragonite, Shiny Espeon, that's four. Oh, here's Gengar. Alright, so, I know this was like a decade ago now, but, try to think back to when we actually played through the story of this game. <laughs> I want you guys to think about this for a minute. So, in the story of the game, back before we were, you know, a Squirtle and a Charizard, we were just a Charmander and a Squirtle. And we were accused of, gra of well, first off, we, we, we knew that we were human, and we were accused of a human that grabbed Ninetales' tail and got cursed, but sacrificed our Gardevoir in order to uh, survive, or the Gardevoir protected us or whatever, right? And we abandoned this Pokemon, which turned us into a Pokemon. That was our curse. Now, we were human, but that wasn't us who did it. It was actually... It was actually... Uh, should I say who it was yet? No, because I don't think they revealed that yet. So it was a different human. We don't know anything about that. But anyways, Gengar wants to see Ninetales. Although I think it's pretty obvious who did it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll do Malfreeze uh, when we get another shiny. That's the plan. That's the plan. Uh, rare quality orb, sure. We're not going to deposit it. You know, we're just going to rush right into another run through Mount Steel. I want to do at least two more. Uh, we could probably do three more. Mount Steel. Can we see at least one more Rapidash? We shall see. There's a Kecleon shop. So that means after the next Shiny, after we do the Gengar mission and stuff, we will go after uh, Kecleon. These are all going to be Wigglytuff orbs, aren't they? No? No? There's one. Just one. Okay. Normally, that's like all you ever see in there is uh, Wiggly Tough Orbs, which does not help us at all. You know, with them making a new Pokemon Snap, they did a remake of the uh, Mystery Dungeon game last year. It makes you wonder, are they going to revisit another um, Pokemon game next year? Whether it's uh, Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Stadium... Um, hey, you Pikachu, could you imagine? Um, 
You know what I would do? And I'm just saying, listen, Pokemon, Nintendo, you guys love making money. How about this for a money idea? You know, we have the, uh, the Super Mario 64 All-Stars Collection. Mario 64, Mario Galaxy, uh, Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine played through on the channel as well as Mario 64. If you want to check those out. Uh, Mario Galaxy coming real soon. Um, anyways, if you want to make money, Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon XT Yellow Darkness uh, collection. Just saying. Would love that. And I would definitely play them on this channel. Even if they did like a Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 HD collection, I mean if they could buy it all four, that'd be amazing, but even if they did like a Pokemon Stadium collection, I would I would love that as well. The only problem is there's not like a lot of content <laughs> to do in that game as far as like single player. Um, I know that the second game, Pokemon Stadium 2, has like a like a pseudo uh, story mode where you challenge like all the gym leaders. It's not much, but as far as like a party game, oh, it'd be amazing. And then you can transfer Pokemon over there from like Pokemon Home or something. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, yeah, talk about money. X, you know, Pokemon Coliseum next to Yellow Darkness uh, remake. Oof. Inject that into my veins, please. But a new Pokemon Ranger game would be cool, or even like uh, a collection of those games. You know, I, I just, I just bought, I bought one on the Wii U uh, Virtual Console. I'm gonna get all three of them. We're gonna be playing on that on the channel at some point. Um, possibly after Pokemon Snap, we'll see. It depends on how long Pokemon Snap is gonna take for us to beat, and this game in, in particular, because obviously later this year we have the uh, Pokemon uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes. Which will be played on this channel as well. We're gonna 100% that game. We're gonna make a living decks. We're gonna do all of that. Very excited. And of course, next year we have uh, Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus. Or is Arceus Legends? Either one. Very excited for that game. Most excited for that game. Probably my most anticipated game. For the next couple years, even that I, that I can think of. I mean, I don't know what else is gonna be coming out. Um, let's go. I mean, I guess they could also release, like, the Poke Park games, or make another one. What else is there? What, Pokemon Dash? There's the puzzle games that are, like, uh, kind of like Tetris. You got the pinball games. Um, what else could they do? Like, if they were to, like, remake an older game or, like, a collection or something along those lines. Or just a new game in general. What if they just released a... Well, they could do, uh... What if they released just, like, a brand new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon next year? That'd be amazing. Just an actual, like, full-fledged, like, brand new Mystery Dungeon game. Or, Explorers of Sky Darkness and, uh, Time. Would love that. We'll be playing those soon as well. Um, Explorers of Sky is on the virtual console for the Wii U, so we'll be picking that up at some point, and we'll play it through there. And we'll do a Living Dex, at least as much as we can, because I don't know if you can get every Pokemon, uh, like every Legendary that's like exclusive to Time and Darkness, I'm not sure, without like, uh, codes or something. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Alright guys, let's do... We'll do one more run through Mount Steel. Hopefully we can at least see one Rapidash. And then we'll wrap it up there. We'll uh, Rapidash it there. Wrap it. Wrap. Wrap it up. 
It's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> bit of a stretch. And the next episode, we'll go after a different shiny. Um, you know what? My heart's telling me to go after Dragonite, so we're gonna go. Dra we're gonna go Mouth Thunder next episode. If we don't get Shiny Rapid Ash in this episode, there's still a chance. Still a chance. But let me know, let me know, guys, in the comment section below what Pokemon like either like remake like HD collection type of deal uh, oh and it's not necessarily just like an HD but just like a collection type thing kind of like uh, Mario 64 All-Stars would you be looking forward to the most or even like a sequel right would get you the most hype there's obviously Pokemon Snap coming out this uh, this month is the second Pokemon Snap game we've ever got so whether that's like Pokemon Stadium 3 um, you know, a, a third game to the Pokemon, uh, X to Gale and Darkness at Coliseum. What's the name of the, uh, region? Is it the Ore? Or? Ore? It's like O-R-E region. I always call it the Ore region, but maybe it's like Ore. What would get you the most excited? If I would have to say one that would get me the most excited right now, is if they release like a, uh, a Pokemon like XD Gala Darkness and Coliseum uh, Switch game. Whether it would just be a, like an emulation like the uh, All Star, like the Mario All Stars thing, or if it would be like a direct like HD remake or whatever. That I would be probably the most excited for right now. But obviously, I would be excited for any of those things that I mentioned earlier. Um, if they if they do like an updated Pokemon Stadium with like all the new Pokemon. That would be pretty cool too, and I think it's realistic with Pokemon Home being a thing. It would be very easy to transfer your Pokemon into Pokemon Stadium, and then you could do like online battles and stuff. That would be really cool. And of course, the mini games. Oh, could you imagine them bringing back like uh, like the Mr. Mime like uh, Pong game and stuff like that? That's fun, man. Um, let's see. It's not looking good for us. We've seen one rapid dash all episode. Double blizzard, double fun. Final floor, but you know, what, guys, we'll do one more run. This is the tw this is the 200th episode, baby. Let's do one more run after this. If we don't get Shining Rapid Ash, which we didn't, screw it. One more run. One more run. One more run. We'll do it. 200 episode. 200th episode. We're only at 23 minutes. Screw it. Let's do it. One more run. I'm gonna take a quick swig of water, though. My throat's a little dry today. I'm drinking lots of water. Alright, let's jump right into Mount Steel. Alright guys, final run of the video. Let's get it. Can we at least see one rapid ash? I just want to see one more rapid ash, all right? Shiny or not, just one more rapid ash, please. Please. Did I mention Pokemon Dash? They could do Pokemon Dash, I guess. I mean, I only, pl like, I played it for like two seconds. I couldn't get, really get the game to, like, do anything like I wanted to do um, on the DS for whatever reason. Like, I didn't try very hard. I was just like, okay, I don't really care about this game moving on. I bought it pretty much just for like collection purposes. <laughs> but if they did like a Pokemon racing game, that'd be that could be kind of cool. Anything worth a damn here? Nope. 
They could do another Pokin game, Pokin 2. I never played Pokin, the uh, fighting game. I'm also not a big fighting game guy. Like, I like fighting games just fine. But I'm not someone who ever gets, like, really serious about them. It's just not my type of thing. I mean, I love watching people play them. Like, uh, watching people play, like, Dragon Ball Fighters. A lot of fun to watch. And it is fun to play. But then, like, when you play against someone who's actually really good at the game, like, it just... <laughs> it just sucks. It just gets your ass beat. It's not even close. But it's a fun game to watch. I'm just not into that. I just play Street Fighter a little bit. Smash Bros. is a little bit different. Because it's more of a party game. But it's still, it's still got some competitive fighting to it, obviously. But that's probably the closest thing I ever really got deep on a fighting game. I played a decent amount of Street Fighter 4 with my friend JC. who might be watching this. So shout out to him if he's watching. Because um, I know occasionally he watches some of my videos. He also plays Smash Bros. with me as well. Um, we also played Virtual Fighter 5 for quite a bit, which was fun. That's pretty much like the only like fighting games I really got deep into. I played a little bit of Mortal Kombat X, but I was never like good at it. Like I would win matches, but I would just like play Reptile and just spam shit over and over again. <laughs> hey, we got a Rapidash! Well, it, it may be shiny, we'll see. It's probably, it's probably not, but you never know. Have faith. It's a normal Rapidash, that's fine. Like I said, I just wanted to see a Rapidash. So I'm not going to complain about that. I'm trying to think, is there any other fighting games I really got like deep into? I guess Marvel vs. Capcom 3 a little bit. Again, very fun to play, but I'm not someone who likes to practice fighting games. I get bored with them after a while. But again, I do like I do like playing them for a little bit. Maybe going through a story mode a few times. But when it comes to like practicing and learning combos and stuff, that's just that's just not for me. I'm not very good at executing combos and fighting games. But yeah, I mean, I check I check out a, a Pokémon too. I check it out. What else could they do that's different than like your typical Pokemon game? I mean, they could do just like another remake, but I doubt they would do black and white remakes already. And you guys already know how I feel about Pokemon Black and White, anyways. Worst, uh, worst generation of Pokemon games, in my opinion. Uh, that's controversial. But just for me, I just didn't enjoy them as much as I enjoyed the other ones. And again, as I mentioned before, it could be just because the time period of my life in which I started playing them. I don't know. I was a very busy boy, very, uh, you know, between work, college, um, I was just very busy a lot. I was also working out a lot at that time, so I didn't really have a lot of time to play, uh, as many games, so I remember just, like, trying to just get through Pokemon Black and White just to get through it. I didn't really spend a lot of time in those games. I could do, like, Diamond and Pearl. I put in, like, a thousand hours on Diamond and Pearl, dude. It was insane. It's like... I am excited for these remakes, but not like that excited. Not not, not as excited as I, as I am for Pokemon Snap, <laughs> which I know that's gonna be crazy because people have been begging, pleading for these Gen 4 remakes. I am excited for them, just not as excited for like like I'm more excited for Pokemon Legends Arceus, more excited for Pokemon Snap. Um, that I'm more excited for personally, but still excited. Can't wait to play through them. I really hope they have the underground stuff. That was the funnest part for me, was going underground and finding like fossils and stones and stuff. Alright. Bigoter belt. Um, all these orange berries.
All right, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Like I said, next episode, unless I forget, we're going to go to Mount Thunder, chasing after Shiny Dragonite. So until then, I am the Maverick, my Daniels. Bidding you farewell, peace, and one love. Bang!